Find functional hilarity at the Biffa Emporium. All right, now, y'all know I did not like the first episode of this season for American Horror. I'm going to go on and give the second and a third a try together. Together. Because I feel like sometimes you need to binge watch that bullshit. So it's either I find a fuck now or not ever. So the half episode opened with uh, the black girl and she finds some snakes in her room. A whole bunch of them. Kathy Bates come in, catch the snakes, and cook them up for dinner. But when they lift the tray from their steamed snake soup, the snakes are still alive. So is this like a murder house where whatever dies here comes back to life here? Joan Collins, however, gonna eat whatever's put in front of her. People, snakes, what have you. So now we got Michael Landon joining the group. Child Michael and this wig. So he letting them know, look, your outpost about to get overrun, but we got a sanctuary. And if you act right, I'm going to take you. He going to ask you 21 questions like he 50 cent. <laughs> so the annoying white heifer tell Joan Collins, girl, they ain't taking your old ass nowhere. They need people who can repopulate, and that ain't you. And Joan going to say, well, I suppose 52 could seem ancient to you. 52? Girl, you was 52 on Dynasty. That's as bad as Connie Britton's 42 on the first season of 911. I ain't never gonna forget that. I'm gonna say 42 in front of my face. That's like me saying I'm 22. So Evan Peters is the first one getting questioned. Oh, God. So the question starts off with, are you gay or straight? And Evan is like, I'm gay, but if I need to, you know, impregnate, I can impregnate. I can impregnate. I've done it before. Oh, so now Evan Peters getting to his issues with his grandmama. And if there was ever a grandmama, it's Joan Collins. You got a 35-year-old grandson talking about I'm 52. <laughs> well, I'm sitting here looking at you. Oh, God. This is shitty. This is shitty. The grandma was trying to fix him up. He ain't like the people she was trying to fix him up with. Everybody wanted her money, but well, she was leaving everything to a cat charity. So what, nobody gonna get shit. I think that's why he really mad. Ah, ah, ah! Evan Peters wanna fuck Satan. Oh my God. Oh Lord, we are 17 minutes in and the word of the moment is chore. Chore. I, I almost want to just skip and get to the damn witches, but I want to see the setup before them. So let me, let me slog through. Okay, so now we got the gimp from uh, Murder House and him and Evan Peters going to get at it. Now, Joan, you know what fucking sound like. Leave that door closed. They really loud for a place with a no fucking rule. Joan then ran and told Kathy Bates about her grandson fucking. She ain't shit. Oh, God, now the two kids is trying to sneak into Michael Landon's room. Girl, ooh. ooh. I, I almost had a fuck. I was starting to get a quarter of a fuck. This dropped it down to less than an eighth. So they find out that he got a computer that's functional and email that's working. Meanwhile, the gimp's spying on their asses. But he know Venable ain't shit either. So now Michael having a little showdown with Venable. He said, Hef, I know what you did. We ain't say nothing about no fucking and we ain't say nothing about destroying messages. I know. I wrote the rules. But Michael tell her, look, I ain't mad at you. Maybe we needed some improvisation. Maybe we needed a woman's touch. Since she talked about how men blew up the world and she had a point. She had a point. So he asked her, who do you think I should save? And she started reading everybody. Now he telling Venable to strip? I'm tired of uncomfortable sexual plot lines. Can we just get consenting adults fucking? Can we get love? Damn. Oh, she got some type of scoliosis or mutate. So now Kathy Bates running to Venable telling her, hey, hey, Evan Peters was fucking. And she's like, we well, was probably fucking landing. They probably know each other. They plotting something, sis. Watch out. Okay, so now we got another naked Evan Peters scene. You know they always love to get him nude. And so now Michael Landon dropped by and tell him, I ain't never been to your room. I don't know who was fucking you. Ooh. Now Michael tell him, uh, sis, I wouldn't fuck you if you were the last man on earth. And I got about 10 left. 
Michael, tell him, sis, you too needy. You too needy. You trying to fuck it away, but it don't make it no better. You tried to style it away, but it still can't make it fashionable. Now he on the granny's side. I can't believe this. Got him strung up for nothing. He letting him know, oh, honey, your Nana told on you. Mm-hmm. Oh, Jesus Christ, this white girl is so annoying. Ooh, they gotta write her less annoying so we can give a fuck about what she say. Oh, Jesus Christ, it's the end of the world and y'all fighting over old family issues. Oh, God, oh, uh-uh, 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 getting fuckless. Like, I was getting a little fuck full for a minute there. Oh, Jesus, can we get to the fucking witches, please? Oh, God, okay, it's, it's 46. We got, we got, like, a couple more minutes left. We gonna, we gonna make it through. All right, so uh, our interracial couple get to fucking and the gimp spying on them too. Child, this second episode better give me every motherfucking thing I need and some shit I didn't even know I wanted. Okay, so now we got the gimp in the hall looking at um Evan Peters and Stevie Nicks come on, letting you know the witches is on their way. Somebody gotta save this shit because, ooh, I just, I, I'm, I can't find my fuck. I feel like I might have one, but I can't locate it at the moment. I can't put my hands on it. Evan, don't follow the mast, man. You don't need to get no more dick. You should be good. So now Venerable and Kathy Bates, of course, find our interracial couple post-coitus cuddled up. Y'all didn't have enough sense to go back to your damn rooms. Oh, okay, so Evan Peters stabbed the suit guy. And right after he didn't, you know, give him them too good to the chest, Michael Landon opens the door. And it's his grandmother that he's murdered. It was time for Joan to go, so I ain't mad at it. I love her, but it wasn't reading. It wasn't reading. So before they dole out punishment, the white guy tell him, look, we can fuck freely. Y'all making up your own shit. I saw Langdon's emails. You're fucking with us. I don't understand how you gonna get more people unless they fucking. And she seemed real healthy. They both do, but I couldn't imagine being pregnant in that boring ass world. No the fuck thank you, so I don't know, I don't know. Book's still out. Okay, so uh, the white guy shoots one of the guards and Kathy. Oh God, and we find out her ass is a robot. Let's just throw in a cyborg plot line. This is Heffa Scott Young shit. Oh, I'm so glad I waited until I could watch the next episode, cause yeah, I need you to explain that shit. Just slipping in a little cyborg. Okay, so now we got Michael Landon cutting at himself. Ooh, he praying to the devil. You know what? I need y'all to go on and put this show on HBO to give us the penises we deserve. Y'all be blurring shit. Okay, we got more snakes, but no penises. If y'all knows, you could have given us two good penises. We've been waiting on Evan Peters, Peter, for a minute. So now we got Kathy Bates' backstory, AKA me. Oh, she went as Rosie from the Jetsons, which is oddly fitting, but hilarious. That's a good costume. I always love Rosie, cause Rosie was shady as hell. I want a Rosie the Rope. well, no, I don't want a Rosie the Robot. All right, so now we got Kathy giving the same story to Venable, asking her, um, so what are these feelings? Cause I'm a robot and we don't really have those. So maybe this is why Kathy Bates knew to kill the horses when Michael Landon said, take care of them. So now Venable telling Kathy, look, um, I, I ain't gonna be joining y'all at the sanctuary and I'm pissed about it. So we gonna have to do something. So episode two opens with Michael Langdon interviewing the white boy and Evan Peters, letting them know, look, I ain't gonna let them kill you cause we still gotta deal with the repopulate. Okay, so now we got Mallory getting her Michael Langdon interview. And he says, you want to kill your boss. Now we got Michael in there with Coco. And he tell Coco, you're too shallow to have any type of meaningful negativity. That's a read. And he recognized it. He said, it's good to see you again. She's like, I, I, don't, I don't know what you mean. I don't know you. But I wish you well. And he like, I'm going to keep my good eye on you. So he lets the group know he's looking for evil souls. He start caressing on Mallory and she like, I, I ain't fucking with you like that. 
Chow, he grab her arm and suddenly it becomes a supernatural skirmish. She's using telekinesis and pyrokinesis. He's bearing his devil's face. So I guess she a witch. So now we see Coco's husband who's on the hunt for her ass. He out here killing other survivors and they killing other people. It don't look good out there. So there is an infrastructure, at least where they are. So after Coco's husband gets through killing some mutants, he sees the horse and carriage heading towards the sanctuary and follows him. Meanwhile, the carriage show up with apples at the uh, sanctuary, and Coco's husband is hiding out underneath it, in the undercarriage. In the undercarriage. It's funny how it's so topical now. And so now we find out why they take care of the horses, because they don't want them dead on the lawn. I can get that. So Venable and Kathy Bates decided they gonna kill everybody by poisoning these apples. They ain't shit, but Coco husband stabbed that tall guard when she outside and uses her gas mask to get back in. So now we got Venable announcing to everybody there's gonna be a Halloween party with mandatory attendance. How festive. Meanwhile, upstairs, we got Coco talking about Langdon gonna announce who going to the sanctuary at the Halloween party. Mallory foolishly tells them she thinks she's a witch, so they say prove it, she can't prove it, and then Coco cuss Mallory out. So now we at the party and everybody see the apples and they getting hungry. But they gonna have to bob for them. They gonna make them bob. I will say that's a distraction ploy, I'll give them that. All right, now we got a damn dance break. They do too much of that. It's like um, Guardians of the Galaxy, they do too many musical breaks. So we at the party and Coco sees somebody she don't recognize and think it's Langdon. Child, she offered to eat his ass and take him back to her room. It's her ex-husband, and he kill her. Meanwhile, everybody at the party getting themselves a poisoned apple in their teeth. Now Wilhelmina getting everybody to take their bite. And everybody dies. So now Venable and Kathy Bates go to kill Langdon, but he's got a surprise for them. Kathy is a robot programmed to obey his orders, not Venable's. So Kathy shoot Venable in the chessesis, right above the breastesis. And now we find out the android raised Michael Langdon. That was his nanny. That was the beautiful boy she was talking about at the beginning of the episode, or last episode. They run together now. Get to the witches. And here come the witches. We got the redhead, we got the blonde, and then we got Sarah Paulson as her third character. They really should have had Stevie Nicks for this entrance. So they walk in and Cordelia's like, find our sisters. So we got Adina's character, Mallory's character, and that irritating ass Coco as the damn witches. <sighs> Why they gotta bring her back and give her power? She don't need no power. Oh, and the glasses heifer might be the new Supreme because she woke up and took them glasses off. And you know the hallmark of any Supreme is perfect glowing health. Ah, and we get a surprise, bitch. I bet you thought you'd seen the last of me. I don't know why people think that line is so iconic. She's a mediocre actress at best. I, I, I don't see why people go up for her, but whatever. Evan Peters could do better. And that's where the shit ends. So I will be back next week. I done found some fucks. And I'm going to see you soon. So as my mug say, tell a kin, tell a friend, tell that heifer you hate to head over to the Biffa Emporium for a cute collection of hoodies and mugs. Link below.